Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, sisters and brothers, to our Eucharist today. We come on this commemoration of the faithful departed on All Souls Day, praying for our sisters and brothers who have gone ahead of us. And we ask that the Lord will be mercifully merciful on them, but also merciful on us as we now bring to him all our prayers. And so we pray. Lord Jesus, you're the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you're the truth who sets us free. Christ, have mercy. Jesus, you give us the fullness of life and you invite us ultimately towards eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord. And as our faith in your Son raised from the dead is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the mourning veil covering all peoples and the shroud and wrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame. Everywhere on earth, for the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our God, in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exult and we rejoice that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God.
is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my help. There is one thing I ask of the Lord. For this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savour the sweetness of the Lord, to behold His temple. Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. The Lord is my light and my help. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in Him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my help. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Hope is not deceptive because the love of God has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which has been given us. We were still helpless when at his appointed moment, Christ died for sinful men. It is not easy to die even for a good man. Though, of course, for someone really worthy, a man might be prepared to die. But what proves that God loves us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. Having died to make us righteous, is it likely that he would now fail to save us from God's anger? When we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, we were still enemies. Now that we have been reconciled, surely we may count on being saved by the life of his son. Not merely because we have been reconciled, but because we are filled with joyful trust in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have already gained our reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My Father's will, says the Lord, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, and that I should raise it up on the last day.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the sixth hour came, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my Lord, my Lord, why have you deserted me? When some of those who stood by heard this, they said, listen, he is calling on Elijah. Someone ran and soaked a sponge in vinegar and putting it on a reed, gave it to him to drink, saying, wait and see if Elijah will come to take him down. But Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The centurion who was standing in front of him had seen how he had died and said, in truth, this man was a son of God. When the Sabbath was over, Mary and Magdala, Mary the mother of James and Salome, brought spices with which to go and anoint him. And very early in the morning on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb just as the sun was rising. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? But when they looked, they could see that the stone, which was very big, had already been rolled back. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man in white robe seated at the right-hand side, and they were struck with amazement. But he said to them, there is no need for alarm. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See, here is the place where they laid him. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, as we come to remember our departed brothers and sisters, we come with faith, hope, and love. We come asking that the Lord will give us comfort and strength, because some of us have perhaps in these COVID times, or perhaps much longer before, have lost someone close to us, and perhaps the grief is still something that we're working with. Perhaps we're still struggling with all of that. And because Mark speaks to us about both the death and the resurrection of Jesus, we need to focus not just on death, but also on the resurrection. We need to recognize that you and I are called to see, as the prophet Isaiah spoke of, in terms of the Lord will dry away every tear. The mourning veil will be taken over. Yes, we need to work through our grief, and grief is real. Our pain, our sadness is real. But we must also trust in God whose purifying effect on the lives of our sisters and brothers ultimately brings them to be completely united with him in heaven. As Catholics, we understand the purifying love of God in purgatory as being that sureness of heaven, but also the process of allowing ourselves to become more and more belonging to God, casting away the negativities that we have gone through. And for some of us, maybe that some of that process of purgatory may be even happening here on earth right now, as we are purged from negative sin and all the negativities that we are stuck with. So today we ask that the Lord, just as he purges away the stain of sin on our dearly departed, but he may help us also to live in the way that he would want us to live. 
Yesterday's Feast of All Saints, where we are reminded that we are called to be saints ourselves, is linked to today as well. We, yesterday we prayed that we might be saints, that we may be led by the Lord in holiness. And today we pray that, yes, that all of us, the church, those already departed and even us here, may be ultimately saints in heaven, knowing God's peace, God's cleansing power, and God's love for all humanity, that he draws us through the death and resurrection of Jesus, his son. I'm sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. With faith, hope, and trust, we bring our prayers for the dead and ourselves to the Lord. We stand now for the prayer of the faithful. For Pope Francis, the clergy and the religious and lay leaders, that strengthened by God, they continue in their mission, promoting the gospel message and proclaiming his love for all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who are afraid of the mystery of death, that they may see it not as an end, but as the beginning of a new and deeper life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those grieving the death of a loved one, that their families, friends, and the community persevere in prayers and in offering petitions, and thus open ourselves themselves to God's loving intervention. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all the faithful departed, that the light of Christ will shine upon all the faithful departed, especially those who have died unknown and unmourned. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here and online, that we may live our lives in joy, hope and trust, ready to return to God when he calls us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal rest grant unto the faithful departed, O Lord, and let thy perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Through to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great majesty of love we are all united, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying, as one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Julian our Bishop and all who serve your people. Remember also our sisters and brothers, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy.
Welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may, be, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and form by divine teaching we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, our brother, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
to me will not hunger. He who believes in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father draws him, and I will Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be reminded that Tomorrow, there won't be Mass here in this church. You, can, you may follow it online or go to another parish. And then on Thursday, even though it's a public holidays de Pavli day, we will have Mass here, but it's a special Mass because it's a special thing for the Divine Mercy because it's being broadcast to other Divine Mercy churches in Asia. So it'll be one hour. Mass followed by adoration where we will have the chaplet as well as benediction at the end. So it's from one to two, okay? I mean, you may leave after the mass, that's okay, but feel free to join us for the whole adoration, the whole hour as it were. We've already 
gone to bless our local cemeteries. I think all the cemeteries in Petaling have been blessed, except for Bliss Garden, which I will bless this evening at four. If you look at our online bulletin, you will also find a resource for those who are grieving. All of us in some way grieve, okay? There's some material that's been put together to help us all deal with our grief, and that's the, the link for that is found in our bulletin. I'll put in the bulletin again this coming week. And also there is our grief share, our course on grieving that is coming up soon. So again, look at the bulletin. We invite anybody to join in that, and that will be online as well. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. By your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation bless you for in his unfathomable goodness, he created the human race. And in the resurrection of his only begotten son, he has given believers the hope of rising again. Amen. Amen. To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins and to all the dead, a place of light and peace. Amen. Amen. So may we all live happily forever with Christ whom we believe truly rose from the dead. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go forth in hope, trusting in God's merciful love for us all living and dead. Thanks be to God.